we're not out of here right away, we'll all die. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You're late. This week we're looking at horror of the blood monsters. Vampires have taken over Earth. They've even taken over the voiceover. I'm the vampire. How did this happen? The infected blood of the vampire was carried to Earth millions of years ago by the two Britain vampire men. Well, that seems like reasonable justification for a space mission led by John Carradine. Captain Scott! Captain Scott! To the planet of the caveman vampires. You will go ahead of the Dubatan now! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are they a funny colour? The strange chromatic radiations. Chromatic radiations? While they turn the air and everything in it into a one coloured mass of yellow, green, blue, or blood red. There are some plot points you just know were not by choice. No, Linda, I don't think they're too damn good. Apparently, director Al Adamson saw the black and white Filipino film Tagani. I, I am Tagani. About vampire cavemen, liked it, bought it, then found out that distributors prefer color. How about the uh, red? His solution was to create this new plot involving the space mission and chromatic radiation to give him an excuse to tint all of the black and white scenes. And they can turn from one color to another at any time. Exactly. How does it look? Ridiculous. Besides, if the solution involves shooting expensive sequences of space flight, or even cheap ones, how is this financially viable? I have an idea. This film is not just a re-edited Tagani. Adamson also used footage from The Wizard of Mars, and Unknown Island, War of the Satellites, One Million Years BC, and probably whatever else he had lying around. It worked. Not really. Amazingly, you can see the joins. Ground control looks like this from the back. 90 seconds to pre-launch countdown. And this from the front. Image stabilizer activated. Some prehistoric creatures look like this. They look like some kind of prehistoric monsters. And others look like this. While the costume of the only character who interacts both with the cavemen and the astronauts becomes suddenly shorter when she's in Adamson's bits, and the shoulder strap switches sides. And of course she's played by a different actress. Oh, this is funny. Then there's the sex scene. <laughs> Did I miss the explanation of why in the future people will just hook up to machines? You know, sometimes I miss the old way of making love. Well, it's not complicated. Give it a shot. I know you need more to, to get full satisfaction. If distributors insist on you dropping in a completely random sex scene between characters who really should be monitoring their friends in danger on a distant planet, then at least have them touch each other. Excellent. Next stop, Spectrum, the unknown solar system. Gratuitous shots of flashing lights really don't get the job done. Even if we change the soundtrack. <laughs> Did the vampires cause humanity's intimacy issues? Too many unknown factors in the universe. Is a solution found to the vampire invasion? All we can do is wait and hope for the best. Well. They don't seem to be looking for one. Despite the stated purpose of the mission, they land on the planet by accident. Oh no. I don't believe it. I can only assume Al didn't own any footage that tied up his story for him. It's possible. But then, just because you introduce a plot at the start that sets up the stakes for the entire narrative, doesn't mean you should ever make any reference to it again. So many things have gone wrong right from the start. I mean, come on. <laughs> other films you'd like to see cut up and assembled into a new film? Comments below. To see more reviews, click here, or if you're a particular fan of vampire films, click here to see our vampire film playlist. No, I, I do not want to go.